Hello, welcome back to the Tenorshare channel. In this video I'll walk you through how to bypass Google FRP on Android device. Let's get started. First, install 4Yuki for, for Android on your computer, I put the link for you in the description below. Once installed, open it and connect your phone to the computer. Now go to the remove Google lock field. Click start to continue. Select your device brand and model. Then hit next. Now follow the instructions to put your phone into recovery mode, so we can get the PDA number. For Samsung J7, is press and hold both the power and volume down button, when the screen turns black, press and hold power, volume up and home button at the same time, and release all buttons when the Android logo appears. Once you are in recovery mode, for Yuki will show you the select PDA information screen. Now select the PDA for your device. If you can't find it on the list, click the link here. Then enter the PDA number manually. Then select country and carrier. Once done, hit next, and then confirm the PDA information to continue. After all this are set up, follow the instructions to put your phone into download mode. Step 1, press power button to exit recovery mode. Then press and hold both the power and volume down button to turn off the device. Step 2, press and hold the power, volume down and home button at the same time, when you see the warning screen, release all buttons, then press and quickly release the volume up button. Then the device will be in download mode, and for Yuki for Android will start its first run to bypass the FRP. Now you should see the factory binary screen, follow the instructions to put your phone into recovery mode again. Once you are in recovery mode, follow the instructions to wipe the data and cache partition on the device. Step 1, use the volume buttons to navigate to the wipe data or factory reset option, press power button to confirm. Step 2, select yes, and press power button to confirm. Step 3, navigate to the wipe cache partition, then press power button to confirm. Step 4, select reboot system now, and then press power button to confirm. Now you should see the factory binary screen again. This time follow the instructions to put the device into download mode. Once the device is in download mode, 4Yuki will launch its last run to bypass the FRP. Well done, now it says the Google account has been removed successfully, just wait for the device to boot up. When you see the welcome screen, you know the FRP has been removed. Now go ahead and set it up. Okay. Now you finally get to the home screen.
congratulations. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumb up. For more tips like this, subscribe to the Tenorshare channel to keep watching now. See you later in the next video, cheers.